I remember when I was in school, there was always this one kid who would always question the teacher and he always got sent out of the classroom because we're not taught to question anything. We just have to listen and that's it and learn and go from there. And so I, I, it's almost like no one can debate anything anymore. Mm -hmm. We have the facts, but we're not allowed to. Mm -hmm. And so you learned to debate, you learned it during college. And, and I think that that's something that's missing right now in society is to be, to be able to actually have a conversation with someone and help them change their mind. Tell us how you do it. I want to hear your strategy. Thank you. Yeah. Dostoevsky, you know, he had the famous quote where he said, it's better to go wrong in your own way than right in someone else's way. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was pretty beneficial to me hearing that and realizing that, you know, I don't, I don't want to, to just be parroting or doing things that other people want. And I don't want other people to be like that either. I want them to figure things out for themselves. And again, like looking back at my story, I went 18 years not knowing what a Republican was, mm -hmm. not knowing any of this stuff, you know, not knowing what socialism was. I had no idea, but I thought that I was on the left. And so, so many of these people, I've just never heard these differences of ideas. And so I'll go on my, like one of the most common comments or whatever on my videos that I'll see, they're like, oh, these, these leftists and these mm -hmm. people you talk to, they're so stupid and they're idiots. I'm like, there's a pretty good chance that a lot of these people are probably smarter than you. Mm -hmm. They probably, they, you know, they have high IQs and, and all sorts of stuff, but they just haven't ever heard these ideas. So when I go out there, I'm not making content for conservatives. I'm making content for everyone. I'm making content so that people who are watching will say, hey, that was actually a really good conversation. And the strategies employed there are actually useful for having conducive talks with people. Mm -hmm. And so with the main point, I, I would say it's two things. I mean, first, first, I think it comes from a place of compassion when you're going and talking to people. Mm -hmm. And that comes from asking questions. That comes from not going up and telling people what to think, but you're asking them what they think mm -hmm. because it's not necessarily you changing their mind. It's them changing their own mind because they can't answer the questions that you gave them. Right. Yeah. And it's just way more conducive to, to having a good talk. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, I think it's it's about humility. Mm -hmm. I think that it's it's us having a little humility and going up to someone if we're talking to them and realizing that, hey, I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know all this stuff. You know, I, there's a lot that this person could also teach me about the world. Like since the pandemic started and I've been reading a lot more and talking to people, all sorts of things, my political views have changed a lot from when I first started. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I almost this this parts of my political and cultural perspective that I wouldn't recognize from four years ago when I first started. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's and, and, and a lot of people don't want to admit when they're wrong in the and that, that someone else bested them in one of these things. But that is what America is supposed to be about. I mean, mm -hmm. America is not supposed to be about safe spaces. It's supposed to be about unsafe spaces where people with unpopular ideas or ideas that are at least just different come together to find what the best solution is by pitting them against each other. Mm 